Fortnite's Halloween update for 2023 is officially here and it's one of the best and biggest updates we've ever seen to the game. There's two new weapons, unvaulted Halloween stuff, new Halloween skins with crazy collabs we've all been asking for, the time machine is here and it's doing crazy stuff, and there's been a massive change in the way Fortnite looks in the menus. I'm gonna cover it all from top to bottom, so make sure to watch the whole video because trust me, you don't want to miss it. Also, 75% of you watching right now are not subscribed. That's insane. I upload Fortnite every single day. So hit that subscribe button with the bell for more daily awesome videos. Let's do this. All right, this is gonna be sick. Let's jump into it. What the heck? Okay, a little bit of a weird bug there. Well, the battle bus. Oh, look at it. I'm like behind the battle bus for some reason, but it's Halloween themed. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump out towards Relentless Retreat. Let's open up the map and see if anything's new. It doesn't look like anything crazy has changed, but I know for a fact there's a lot of new things around the map. Fort Nightmares is going to be here until November 3rd at 2 a.m. Eastern. So you have plenty of time to check everything out. And there is so much to check out. It's absolutely insane. I'm going to go over all of it and you're going to want to listen. Trust me. So first things first is we're glad in here there's a bunch of new quests okay so you can go over to uh four nightmares and you can see a ton of different quests with a ton of different rewards you can get we also have horde rush mode back and it has its own rewards too oh my goodness gracious everybody's landing here literally everybody is landing here because kato thorn has his new kind of form of a vampire and he's going to be taking people out doing crazy things okay i'm going to go ahead and pick this up we got a bunch of new weapons too let me just grab this thank you very much let's see if we can take some people out oh yeah there's somebody on the roof there Oh, there's one down. Two down. Three down. Oh my gosh. Four down. Let's heal up. This is getting kind of crazy. Ooh, minis. Nice. It doesn't sound like anyone's fighting Kato Thorn yet, but they will be in a second. We're just going to go ahead and loot a little bit more. Get up to full HP. Then we're going to go check out Kato Thorn. So in terms of new weapons, there's actually two brand new weapons. And uh, they are very... Very interesting. Very, very cool. And I can't wait to check them out. I should be able to find both over here. Oh my gosh, they dropped candy corn. So candy is back. Which honestly, you love to see it. What the? <gasps> the new wood stake shotgun. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It looks like a heavy shotgun a little bit. We're going to check this out on somebody. I'm heading down into the vault area. <gasps> Broomstick. Witch broom. Nice. I'm taking it. Oh, it actually looks like uh, somebody's over here. Gonna cover this guy over here. 43. Oh my gosh, there's one down, two down. <gasps> Kato Thorn! Oh my gosh! He's straight up a vampire. Okay, we gotta focus up. We gotta heal up. And then we gotta take out this vampire. So it looks like the vault's just like straight up open. Or you have to eliminate him first and then he turns into a vampire or something. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm gonna try to eliminate him from the distance here. Oh, the broom looks red. That's kind of cool. Wait, where is he? Oh my gosh, we're in the vault area. The pumpkin launcher's back. Let's go. I'm grabbing it. There's definitely a bunch of people here still. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, block this off. Oh my gosh. This shotgun's kind of sick, not gonna lie. Let's block this all off and let's investigate this a bit more. I don't know where Kato Thorn went. Is he in his vault area? He is. Oh, this is sick. I'm gonna try to take him out. <gasps> he has his katana. Oh, he's so accurate. He has so much health. Does this do more damage? 49 from here is pretty good. I cannot hit him. Let's rocket launch him. There we go. Revenant Kato Thorn is down. He drops a lot of loot. I'm going to go ahead and reload everything. Let's check out what he drops. So he drops a Midas drum gun. Kato Thorn's vampiric blade. And then he drops a bunch of candy and a bunch of heals. Okay, this is actually so sick. Okay, we're grabbing the Kato Thorn's vampiric blade because it looks awesome. And oh, it's like... Oh, somebody's here. Oh, ow. Oh, I got him. There's too many items right now. Like too many decisions, too many choices to make. Somebody here? I think we're good. We grab the pizza. And I think somebody else is coming because I heard a bunch of things. Okay, so apparently this new katana that I have in my hands right here, it's like overpowered. It's like the uh, kinetic blade, but this one actually heals you when you damage people. So that's pretty sweet if you ask me. Now, where are the kind of things that you could steal? Like where are the mythics you could steal? Let's open up this chest first. And this time machine is very interesting. What is this? It's like artifacts right here. 2018, 07, 12. That is, uh, I think chapter one, season five. 
a lot of people are believing that this is actually going to take us back there for a month and i'll explain that in a little bit looking around these sides here this looks like just an area you can hide to fight him and i don't think you can actually get mythics from this vault besides the mythics that he drops for me he drops different ones each time so you can get the drum gun this time around and then next time maybe you can get a different weapon you can also build in here which is nice wait oh you can hide up here no way this would be insane you just hide up here and you chill okay well just so you know that breaks it okay so these are the two brand new weapons all right right here the wooded stake shotgun which seems to be pretty good and then we have thorns vampiric blade which is awesome it's great to have the uh kinetic blade back and it works the same way yeah it looks like it it looks sick though it just looks absolutely incredible i love the style of it in terms of augments i know that we got a bunch of brand new stuff let's get first shotgun rushing reload there you go sprinting will slowly reload your equipped shotgun it was actually an old one that they brought back and there's a couple like that we also have game time and icy slide coming back too okay, there should be somebody here probably I'm not sure where i'm just gonna go for it i'm leaving I don't want anything to do with this place. All right, this is insane. There's like so many builds here. I'm gonna use the katana to get up the high ground. There's a guy right there. Oh, it looks like my cash is right over there. Oh, it's so good to have this back. I love it. Okay, you guys haven't even heard some of the craziest parts of this update, which includes some collabs, which you would never think would happen. We also updated the red versus blue map with a ton of new stuff. We have the new shotgun and DMR, easy access to the rock ram and all the new stuff, the witch's broom, and we even have a Halloween section with all this fun stuff. Oh, hey, it's me and my favorite loadout. On top of that, we also added in Kato Thorn's vampiric blade, which you can actually find inside the vault when it opens. Try out all the new weapons right now by going to this map. Code. Make sure you favorite it and like it because it is awesome. You're going to want to play it every day. I think he landed up here. Look at him over there. I'm going up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just hit him with the Wombo combo. Oh my gosh. Oh, he used the broomstick to go up. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it looks fancy. It looks fancy, fancy. You love to see it. All right, let me grab that back. We got our supply cache going. Let's see. Okay, we got a good SMG. We got a good shotgun. There's all good things all around. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take my sharp tooth shotgun, but I really want to use the wood stake. You know what? I'm going to use some gold and I'm going to upgrade it. See if it can hang with the big boys. It's going to be an expensive upgrade, but we can get it to legendary. There we go. It doesn't go to mythic, but yeah. Let's go ahead and compare the stats, actually, because that's going to be fairly important. I feel like they're kind of similar in the way they operate. So wood stake shotgun. This will do 101 damage, 101, 1 1.3, 4. 119, less fire rate, same magazine size, longer reload time. So if you want more damage, definitely the other one, but this one seems to shoot faster. Yeah, it does. Okay. It also looks really cool. And when have we ever got a Halloween shotgun? Like that is sick. Okay, I can't get too distracted though because there's so many more things I want to talk about. Let's go ahead and eat some pizza. As you can tell, we got the uh, rocket launcher unvaulted. Love the pumpkin launcher. It looks so cool. We also got the witch broom unvaulted. Unvaulted candy. There is uh, four different types. You have candy corn, peppermints, hop drops, and jelly beans. Let's just go ahead and yeet. Oh, all the way up. Oh, I love this. I can just jump on people's heads now so cool i love the orange design this is actually a brand new style for the skin which looks really cool can you get broomsticks from fishing barrels <laughs> no so you actually can get the shotgun from chess as you just saw me do it's got quite a bit of range so i think you can like yeah you can do quite a bit of damage from a distance is somebody in there I was just messing around. Horde Rush is back as a game mode, which is cool. Let's talk about the new skin. So this has to be the best Fort Nightmares in terms of, honestly, the update, but also the skins too. You can see that we have a mummy skin named Seth. There's Scary Meowsels, Festival Phaedra, and the scariest fish stick skin I've ever seen. On top of that, we have like the Fiery Love Ranger, and then three collabs. You ready for this? So first up is a huge one. We have Disney's Jack Skellington, who is the main character from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, let's just go up here and check this out and he actually has a santa claus style as well i know a lot of people are like mega fans of this character so he also has a built-in emote which is just crazy it's kind of scary so that one's the first one which is pretty hype not gonna lie the second one is alan wake so if you didn't know alan wake is actually a scary game i think it's also the main character's name in the scary game so it's kind of cool to see fortnite collabing with other games and getting them in the game too now the third and final one which you guys are gonna absolutely love is gonna be a collab that everyone's 
everyone's always been asking for, especially during Halloween time. And he's going to be the one and only Michael Myers. I am not joking. He is coming to the game. He has all his bells and whistles. And this set looks awesome. To top it off, he has an emote where he plays the Halloween theme song. That is right on keyboard and with his like kitchen knife too. Oh, give me the slurp. Did I leave my, I left my other slurp behind. That's crazy. There's a guy over here. Yeah, I got an idea. I think he's in here. Oh, you, you actually went up when I went down. Oh, he hit me a little bit. I'll be all right. Oh, I might not be all right. Going up. I feel like this guy up here is a sweat, so I'm gonna try to take him out. Ooh, that guy's one shot. And unfortunately for him, he like bounced up. Oh! Wow, this thing hits heavy. Oh my goodness. That is really, really cool. Oh, the loot is insane. Oh, there's more people here. Going up. Not great. Reload. Oh, oh my gosh. This is great. This is freaking great. Meet the fish. He really didn't have any other heals, did he? Oh, shoot. The zone is chugging along. Nobody had any heals, really? Everyone was just healless. Come on. There we go. Well, not a bad loadout for not having any heals. Oh, there's some more stuff here. I'm actually great on heals now. So the question is, is chapter one coming back? And it honestly looks like it. For at least like a month period at the end of this season, I think we'll actually see chapter one. I know, I don't believe it either, but apparently it looks like it's gonna happen, so. Oh, bodied. It's a 1v1 situation. Apparently all around the map, there's actually a bunch of different things showing that uh, it's coming back, so. Are you really doing this? I'm leaving. Going up. Can I shoot the rocket? He actually completely missed there. It's kind of cool to see that back in the game though. There's also massive UI changes. Like the entirety of Fortnite looks insanely different when you load in. Okay, so these are some of the main UI changes that I've noticed. Like this area looks completely different. You can actually just scroll down and look through basically all the maps. Your recently played will be on the top row and your friends will be there too. You can search for maps and island codes over here. And by hitting this icon on the far left, you can actually go to your favorites. By the way, go favor my red versus blue map right now. It is so good. Map code right there. And we're adding in the new weapons as well. So you can test them out in red versus blue first. Favor this one and try it out. The item shop is also gonna change quite a bit. I don't think they've implemented those changes yet though. And then you can see on career, you can actually see your stats now, like properly. So this shows my solo stats. And I can change to the current season and you can see how many solo wins I have during this this season 41 percent win rate that's kind of insane if you do duos current season you'll see that we have 95 wins with an 81 percent win rate don't mess with us in duos oh this guy is just i'm not even gonna finish him off yet i'm gonna wait should i just pumpkin launcher him it is my pleasure absolutely just grief you with this thing happy halloween bud keep running away Did she once you have health did you regen anything Oh, he did. He regen shield. So yeah, there's a bunch of things they're adding all the time. Oh, there we go. GG. All the new weapons, all the new items. I can't wait for all the challenge videos we're going to make. First game on, that's a GG.